Wow, listen to this. Even though I know there are times God bypasses our faith to perform miracles in our lives and environment, but to constantly experience or live in the place where we constantly experience the move of God, then we must be in the place of obedience. There are instructions we might receive from God that might sound very, very stupid. And I mean, when I say stupid, I mean very, very stupid. For the foolishness of God is wider than that of men. But sometimes it can be very, very stupid that even you cannot imagine it. And this is the main reason you cannot afford to share your dreams with everyone. Not just everybody. Not just everybody. Joseph shared his dream with his brethren. He was so fortunate because that's fine. That's how God arranged it. But the point is, personally, I've experienced it. Share my dreams with people and instantly... You know, you get, you know, the feeling of discouragement at that, inst- at that instance. And I'm like, wow, I shouldn't have said this to this person. And that is it. And if you are not, if you have not gotten to that place where you are convinced, you know, you've not got to that place of conviction where you strongly believe what you have heard, that God told you that particular thing, then you might let go of that dream. And that explains why people remain at a particular level. Because the instruction was stupid anyway. So they won't follow it up. In Exodus 14, Exodus 14, if you look at 21 and 22, we see God do the unimaginable through Moses. It wasn't Moses, but the God behind Moses. Moses just obeyed and accepted to stretch forth his hand, you know, as instructed by God. That was all he needed to do. And the Red Sea parted and they walked on dry ground. You know, I, I, I watched the cartoon, the animated um, version of this particular story. And I saw, you know, fish swimming and the children were looking and said, wow. You know, it was like an aquarium, like a wall. And the water could not reconnect until they are fully passed over. You can imagine that. Brethren, to believe God is to anticipate an answer to a particular thing. And this is the reason obedience plus faith will always lead to the flow of miracles. How do you explain 2 Kings 6, 1 to 7? 2 Kings 6, 1 to 7. Let me read from verse 5. Verse 5 says, But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down a stick, and cast it in Dida, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, take it up to thee, and he put out his hand and took it. How do you explain this? How does an ordinary stick make an iron float? Wow! How? How? God is ever ready, ever ready, ever ready to suspend laws, to suspend policies. To suspend nature's laws, no, no, for our sex when our obedience meets faith. God is waiting for your obedience because it takes you to take that step. Noah built an ark when there was no record of rain on earth. The Bible says he spent over 100 years. 100 years is, 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 is a long time, even one year, two years, three years. is such a long time to stop believing God spoke to you. And the same thing. The stage a lot of us are currently right now. It is difficult to keep believing that God spoke to you because it's taking too long. You know, sometimes God can be agonizingly slow in performing that which He has told us. To wait for Him, to wait for Him, to wait for Him. It can be, it can become a struggle when you stop believing Him. But one you know one thing: when you get or pray at this level. Your trust in God is no longer questioned. Hey, Father, take me to this level. Help my unbelief is all I'm asking for, Daddy. Help my unbelief. Let my heart not wander from your word. Please, help my unbelief. Help my unbelief. Lord, let my trust in you not be questionable. Let me not question what I have heard you tell me. Ah, Father, please help me, help me, help me, help me to operate at this level. 
let my faith no matter how that instruction sound lord father let me say yes sir and just go ahead and operate at that particular level i've learned by reasons of teaching or reading that when you give such instructions there are times of miracles there are times where breakthrough is about to happen don't let us miss our timing. Don't let us miss our timing because, because we want to logically reason out your instructions. May I never be at this level, Lord. This, let me be at the level where my trust in you, Lord, will not be questioned. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 